Just before you start your presentation, I would like also to recognize the efforts of your organization which you are doing for Ukraine. And I know and I've seen a lot um, of work, charitable work, what you are doing, not just for TB affected people, but for other people who need this support. And this is incredible how you are managing to do it in such circumstances. And yeah, just to thank you for that. No, thank you, and thank you to European Parliament, European Commission, and uh, European Union overall for such critical support for Ukraine. Uh, next slide. Uh, I have a few slides. Uh, uh, I would like to say that it worked. The, uh, there was no uh, outbreaks in TB uh, because of collective efforts. Uh, civil society, community, uh, politicians, uh, international players, uh, and donors, including the Global Fund. Consequences of the war for TB system are so dramatic. So, uh, uh, in nine regions, uh, nearly uh, half uh, TB infrastructure was affected. The next slide shows, it's not this picture from internet, this is the real hospitals. Uh, uh, next, uh, 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 this is the real hospitals uh, on the left, for example, in Mariupol uh, and uh, in Kherson, uh, destroyed to, to nothing. On the uh, right side, you see the uh, apartment of our social worker uh, destroyed, and now she lives in a bomb shelter and still continue to work uh, in uh, Nikopol. The next slide shows that uh, how uh, dynamic situation is. We moved, uh, 7 million people moved within Ukraine, mostly from uh, uh, orange uh, side on the east to western side, uh, with a huge number of uh, uh, risks, uh, including TB risks. You know the expression, uh, TB is the best friend of any war. Unfortunately, Ukraine is not an exception. And next slide shows uh, how uh, how we responded. Uh, there are many figures here, but I would like to highlight maybe uh, that uh, in Ukraine uh, during one week of one working week, just one week, we identified more TB cases than in countries like Sweden for the whole year. So it's a 52 times difference. Yeah, one week equals to the whole year. So this is demonstrate intensity uh, of the work happening on the ground and uh, resilience. Because uh, next slide shows uh, uh, you see the uh, women uh, with the bicycle. When uh, uh, there was a fuel crisis, actually we provided NGOs with the bicycles and they did delivery. <coughs> of medications and collecting sputum uh, with bicycles <clears throat> and some even with feet. Uh, so it was a really, really huge, enormous effort from civil society and community workers in addition to the doctors to sustain the program, to avoid any treatment interruption. And next slide shows that uh, uh, when the war started, you see a drop uh, well, on the diagram uh, uh, with the green uh, green uh, bottoms on, on March and April, with substantially lower identified cases. But uh, even in the two months, we got back to the uh, our regular work and even did more than before the war. So it's also important to lesson that we work not only, not only within the country, but uh, abroad, helping TB patients abroad. And sometimes they are lost even in developed European countries, not familiar with MDR-TB or not having enough doctor. So they prefer to call the Ukrainian doctors and to ask to translate their records uh, in countries like uh, Poland, Germany, uh, Baltic states. Uh, and it's important uh, that uh, on, on Ukrainian side, we, uh, next slide, we uh, <clears throat> quite progressed in policy decisions. For example, Ukraine was the first country uh, adopting new treatment guidelines by WHO. Number one. So uh, uh, that uh, demonstrates that sometimes even European countries are a bit behind and it's really important to move forward. It's like on the front line. You cannot win the war with old weapons. 
you cannot stop TB using all treatment regimes. It's clear, no, no other options. And finally, I would like to say that uh, uh, it's, Mark, what you said about HME equally applicable to TB. Human rights, gender tailored programs, uh, eliminating policy barriers. Uh, it's critical uh, that uh, uh, key populations there, uh, sometimes even more neglected, homeless people, people without documents. So uh, I would like to conclude uh, final slide with uh, thanking again. Uh, uh, critical support from EU is, uh, is a success for all of us. And we will win the war, we will stop TB. Thank you.